throughout his life, things seemed to be working out for Flavius Zeno. He was a great Isurian officer, he married Ariadne, the daughter of the emperor, and he became the emperor himself of the Eastern Roman Empire. Unfortunately, luck was not always on his side. It was not on his side during much of his reign, and it was not on his side when it came to his death. He may have had his wife to thank for that. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Here on Mortal Faces, I take historic individuals we read about and recreate them to see how they might have looked in real life. So let's get started. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more historical recreations. And let me know in the comments who you'd like to see in real life. Zeno born Tarasus was a warrior from the tribal inlands of Turkey fighting against Attila the Hun to defend Constantinople. He found some important letters which he gave to the Eastern Roman Emperor Leo I and this gained his loyalty and connections to the Roman aristocracy which inspired Tarasus to adopt the Greek name Zeno. He married Leo's daughter, becoming the son-in-law to the emperor, and his child would become the heir to the throne. When Emperor Leo died, Zeno's son became emperor but was too young, so Zeno co-ruled. Then his son died from illness, and Zeno ruled as sole emperor of the Eastern Roman Empire in 474 AD. Due to his unpopular origins, he was deposed but regained the throne a year later in 476, and during his second reign, he remained emperor for 15 years, where he saw the fall and dissolution of the Western Roman Empire. The Eastern Roman, also known as the Byzantine Empire, survived, keeping Zeno as its emperor. However, his reign was riddled with turbulence, domestic revolts, and religious dissension, making his rule a rather uneasy one. Emperor Zeno was recorded to have died on April 9th, 491 AD in Constantinople. The cause of his death was the result of an undetermined illness that greatly reduced his physical health. Reports trying to identify the illness described it as dysentery, epilepsy, or becoming insensible from drinking. Regardless of what the illness was, Emperor Zeno was believed to be dead. Because he was believed to be dead, his body was placed in a sarcophagus and buried in a tomb made for him at the Church of the Holy Apostles. However, Emperor Zeno may have not actually been dead. Following the closing of the sarcophagus at the Church of Holy Apostles, it was said that one could hear cries for help coming from within. For three days, the words, have pity on me, could be heard coming through the sarcophagus that was supposed to have a dead emperor inside. Instead, Emperor Zeno had been buried alive. Emperor Zeno's wife, Ariadne, whom he married sometime around 466, wasn't particularly fond of their marriage and was rather hostile to her husband. You see, she married Zeno at the request of her father, who had come to greatly respect Zeno as an Isaurian officer. The marriage was initially okay, but then poison got injected into it by Zeno's general, Illus. He was a two-faced guy, first trying to dethrone Zeno and then supporting him. Ariadne's mother tried to remove Zeno as well and then later tried to kill Illus, his general, and so Zeno banished her. She asked her daughter for help, but Zeno referred her to Illus. Illus accused her of trying to replace her husband with a different ruler. This irritated her and she attempted to murder Illus. Illus infused jealous suspicion into Zeno's mind, and Zeno tried then to kill his wife, but failed. And as you can imagine, this didn't impress her. So when he took sick, she got her revenge. Two 11th and 12th century historians, Zonaris and Cadrenos, reported that Empress Ariadne, despite the audible cries for help coming from the sarcophagus, would not allow her husband's subjects to investigate or intervene in the matter. They were allowed nowhere near his tomb. It seems she was waiting for the death of Till Death Do Us Part. If this account of Zeno's death is true, then his wife allowed him to die, a slow and painful death due to asphyxiation and dehydration. And that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more recreations, check out my other videos on my channel and subscribe. Each of your subscriptions does help this channel grow. It allows me to continue making more content for you. Let me know in the comments who you want to see in real life. I do make a list of all your suggestions and I will see you in the next one.